You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out the new Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty called Liberty Bell. And look at the packaging. It's all aluminum or metal looking. I don't know if you can tell. It kind of, there we go. Let's see. It includes a collectible cone. cone. Includes a collectible cone. I mean coin. And it's called a holiday thinking putty. Hmm, Liberty Bell, I wonder why. I bet you know why, ages three plus. Bounce it, pop it, stretch it, and then this side says, tear it, knead it, twist it. This is their new packaging with the new artwork design. And then these are all the different color combinations. Cosmics, hmm, I'm not too familiar with those. Show us what you can do with your thinking putty. Puttyworld.com, all right, so. The newest of the packaging, the newest putty. Let me give my camera angle a little change here. Bring this down, bring in a tool. Let me get everything just the way I want it. So I can check out a new putty. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity. I usually like to take something and open. A lot of times these tend to rip here on some of these, especially on the older packaging. This might look a little bit better. Okay, let's see, every year, Crazy Aaron's releases fun and festive thinking putty in seasonal and holiday colors. Available for a limited time only, these special editions come with varying effects and add-ons and are highly collectible. Discover unique and exciting thinking putty season after season, year after year, and start your own collection. Oh yeah, look, it's got like a wavy pattern in there. It's hard to tell. There it is, right there. That waviness, do you see it in there? And that goes around the entire packaging. You gotta get the angle just right. There. Well, let's get that off to the side. It's always exciting to open up the thinking putty. Oh, they got some information here. The cracked Liberty Bell is uh, is an icon of independence and a reminder that imperfections are part of striving, are part of striving toward a more perfect union. Let your creative freedom ring with the Liberty Bell thinking putty, a deep aged copper hue. It comes with a patriotic collectible coin. All right, here we go. Exciting. They always say the easiest way to get their tins open is to twist them. Ooh, look at that. It was must have been laying this way in shipping. Pretty neat looking putty. And ooh, and it's super soft. Did you see how nice it just peeled right there? All right, let's get this out. It's just that, that feeling you get when it finally does this. All right, look, and there's the coin hidden in there. Let's see, what is the coin? Okay, it's Crazy Aaron's face. I think that's pretty much been on most of the coins like that. One side anyway, there's always that. I have to go back and watch my old videos to verify that. Here, let's put this back here. Liberty Bell, all right, so. Crazy Aaron's thinking putty. Made in the United States of America. And let's check out the other side. There is the cracked Liberty Bell. Okay. Let creative freedom ring. Let me just turn up my lighting just a little. I think I'll make it just a little bit brighter. Just a little bit. Summer 2017. That's a nice coin. Check it out. Watch. So it's got some weight to it. Not aluminum. You can tell that. All right, ooh, cracks. Cracks like the Liberty Bell, you get those little pops. Ah, very pretty color. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to get this putty now. I order it from puttyworld.com. Sometimes they have sent me putties. This one, as soon as the email came in, I just ordered it. I didn't even wait or ask them. Yeah, look, you get the striation of colors. You can really see it right here. And then look at that. Let me grab, let me see, my nearest pair of scissors. Sometimes when you cut the putty, it's really dark on the inside, this kind. Let's see. And they're clean, yes. Look at that. See what I'm saying? It's so satisfying to cut your putty. A 
little nuggets of putty. Okay, it's kind of neat the way it, it's so dark on the inside. Let me do this. I wonder if it would be cool if I just take it like this to get a nice color variation. And cut it. And then twist it. Let's see if you can see that. Oh yeah, look at that. Been super fascinated with twisting putties. I don't know why recently. Twisting and twisting and twisting. And those lines get smaller and smaller. Let me let you zoom right into that. Well, I'll zoom right in. Let me l let you look at that while it zooms right in. Yeah, I'll put it this way. That's pretty cool. That's a neat little picture. I wonder if I should make that some of the thumbnail. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to do for a thumbnail. But look at that all lumped together. It's a pretty neat color with the darkness. I don't know, does it kind of remind you of like a root beer candy? Now when you stretch it super thin, you can tell it's got that, it, it gets lighter and lighter. And that's why when you cut it, when it's in a clump, it kind of darkens it up. There, there's my root beer candy. Ooh, I can go for one of those barrels right now. camera up just a little. There we go. I like this one. I was thinking, I was thinking about bringing all my, I actually ordered another color too at the same time. It's their, oh I can't think of the name, it's something gold. Mm. It's not often I uh, get a chance to get the gold so when I did I thought hmm It'd be a good time to bring that gold out and all my golds and do another gold comparison. I don't know how long that gold has been out, but I thought it'd be fun to do. So expect that in the next week or so. Don't know for sure. Stringy. Let me just string a bunch up. It's really soft. Doesn't it look like kind of like a toffee melted candy. Kind of like a kind of like a kind of like a. Look at that. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Ooh, that was a big chunk. There, that's a nice. Nice amount. How cool is that? It's like a web of putty. It's trapped in there. Help me! Help me! See if we can make an imprint of my coin. Well, it's there. It's very light, but you see the lettering. Now it's in there. Find the hidden coin from Crazy.
Now I think I'm just going to do this for a few minutes because it just feels good on my hand. It's really soft. Let me put a little, see if I can get it to stick just by heating it in my hand like this. I like doing that too. Look at the lines and the coolness there. Let's leave it a little bit longer. Oh, I think there's a piece back there. Yeah. See how it sticks? It's so soft that it just almost sticks to your fingers after it heats up just right. And let me stretch this out now. See how thin I can get this. All right, so are you a crazy Aaron's fan? Let me know. Did you know that this putty came out? Let me know in the comments. I'm not done yet. I just thought I'd get that little tidbit in there. And you know what? Lucky Penny Shop can really, 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 really use your help. As you know, the views are not what they used to be, but we're still making videos. Past 6,000 videos the other day. That didn't stretch as good as I wanted, but it's still cool to look at. And it was sometime in June, May, June of 2015 when they made that main algorithm change. No one knew about it that I know of. And then all of a sudden things started changing. And YouTube started analyzing channels differently. So they used different criteria to feature channels. And that's kind of what's happened to a lot of channels on YouTube. They didn't meet the criteria the same way that they used to. There we go, that's a nice flat one. Does it look like a coin color? I think it's darker than a penny. I don't have a penny handy. They said bronze, right? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, a deep aged copper hue. So maybe an older penny. I'll tell you what, I will let that sit there for just a second. You'll see a scene change, and I'll go grab a couple older pennies. Okay, here we go. While I was going through my little knick-knack container, I found this marble, which had a really close color, interesting enough, to what was in there. And this one had like a hue to it as well that kind of reminded me of this. All right, here's some pennies. So this is kind of a newer, clean penny. Remember, we're going for an aged penny. And I thought... And this is a strange color penny. This is from 1942, and it looks to be in really nice condition. But this is kind of the color I think they're saying. Aged. Here's another aged one. I think that's kind of what they're going for. Now, I would say it hit the mark because you've got some lighter copper hues and you've got the darker copper hues. I didn't even know I had this penny in here. This 1942 wheat penny. It's actually really clean. All right, enough of the pennies. There's my crazy Aaron. Look at that, didn't that? Don't those look really interesting in regards to coloring, especially the inside of this one? I thought, wow, that's pretty close. All right, so now we know that it does meet the criteria for aged penny I've been doing this too I'll show you all right I'm gonna show you some I've been putting it on my hand like a small piece not this putty but the putty that I keep my desk and I've been doing this maybe a little bit bigger and I just been doing this and I let it stick and then I spread it out real thin over my whole hand and I just keep spreading it I don't know just one of those things I don't know if you remember the putty that I made by combining a bunch of putties I still have that so I grab that and I just
just keep doing that. Till it gets thinner and thinner. And so on. Ooh. It does have a really nice shiny hue to it. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can see it. It's a very shiny looking putty. And I've just been doing this, stretching it and stretching it. Look at that. And then peeling it off. It's like a layer of thin skin. All right, I think that's it. I think we've checked out this new putty. It's really cool. It's going in my collection. As always, I appreciate you watching. Oh, so I was saying now, when you watch a video all the way through, that helps a channel. If you skip, that does not help a channel. If you stay and watch three or four videos, five videos, six, 10, 20, whatever, that really helps a channel. Of course, the more you stay, the better. So do what you can, it would help. I appreciate it. I'm gonna continue making videos because I have fun and I've got tons of stuff to show you and I don't feel like, to me it's always been a mission to show as much and as many, hence over 6,000 videos, toys as possible. I see it as a really important mission for years down the road. Especially now, if I'm doing new toys, kids 10 years from now will be like, oh, what toy was that? 20 years from now, what toy was that? Oh, that was cool. I never learned about, I never heard about that toy. So I always thought, hmm, toys way back when, if they were videotaped and documented, we would have known a lot more about these toys. Now, there we go. Let me get my coin in there. This will probably be my thumbnail. I usually put this up in the corner. I'll prop this in here. I'll stretch this around my tin slightly. And say, again, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. It's really appreciated. Look in that description, you'll see a playlist with all of my Crazy Aaron videos. I feel really mellow today with my Liberty Bell. And have a great one. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.